You can now use ChatGPT within VS Code and it is an absolute game changer for web designers and computer programmers alike. Without further ado, let's jump into using CodeGPT. 9L. <laughs> Without further ado, man, let's jump into using CodeGPT on VS Code. So as you can see here, man, we have Visual Studio Code already downloaded and we have our Python game loaded up. Let me show you first how you can download Code GPT on Visual Studio Code. So you're going to go here to the extensions and you're going to type in Easy Code Copilot. Again, Easy Code Copilot, bam. And you're going to click on the first one right up top, man, Easy Code Copilot. Once you click on it, man, you'll see Copilot Chat, your AI Copilot with chat, autocomplete, and code-based understandings. No account or API required. So let me say that again, man, no account or API required. There are many code GPTs out there. When you look up code GPT on the extensions, man, you can see we get a bunch of different models for code GPT, but each and every one of these models requires either an API key or requires you to sign in or is not free. The code copilot is free, requires no API, and you do not have to sign in. So without further ado, let's jump into some of its capabilities. Again, man, we are here with our Python game, and we're just gonna ask it to analyze this code right here and explain what this game is and explain what this code, what is this code? As you can see here, man, here's the ping pong game in Python. This is what it looks like, man. Let's see if CodeGPT can interpret this code and just give us some answers, man. Let's see what we can do with CodeGPT. So I'm gonna highlight the entire code. And basically, man, once you highlight your code, all you have to do is double click and you'll see a list of options right here. And I I clicked Ask GPT, what does this do? So as you can see here, man, it gets right to work. It says this, this code is a simple implementation of the classic arcade game ping pong using the turtle model in Python. So man, man, it analyzed our code and gave us an answer of what this code represents, which is great. Let's see what else we can do with code GPT. Look here, man. We can ask it to write unit text. We can also ask it to write entire code. We're gonna ask it to. We're gonna ask it to basically add a third player and see how we could do that. As you can see here, man, our game is playing in our background. It's 13, 13. Pretty close game, not gonna lie. It's pretty close. As you can see here, man, it says to add a third player, you would need to create a new paddle turtle and move it using the same keyboard bindings as the other two paddles. You also need to keep track of the score of each player separately. As you can see, man, it's still generating right here, and I believe they wrote out our entire code, which if that's the case, that's crazy. We're actually going to copy this code and paste it into a new file and see what comes up when we run, when we run it in the terminal. So, to run the code written by Easy Code Copilot, all we have to do is double click. We scroll down to run current files in interactive window. And as you can see, here is our game. Three, ah, I just missed the ball. So maybe that was a glitch. I don't know if that was a glitch or not, but it looked like I hit the ball there. But as you can see, we have three players here, player A, player B, player C, and three Pongs to go with each player. Easy Code Copilot did its job, man, and created three players. I don't know if that was a glitch. You guys let me know in the comments. Did I hit the ball or not? I thought I hit the ball, but it glitched out. And as you can see, the ball does not uh, return as well. But I'm very impressed, man, for a free model. It does not require an API key. This is absolutely insane. All you have to do, man, is go to extensions on VS Code. Easy Code Copilot. It's that simple, man. You can write entire scripts as you can see. Without further ado, this is the Creator Palm family. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, man. We're actually super close. Once we get to 5K, man, exponential growth all the way up to 10K. Without further ado, man, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. The CEO of ChatGPT OpenAI. So, man, I'm looking at the support line, man. Front end, back end, and full stack. Would it be $7,136,000?